Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new YouTube video and today I'm going to show you guys how to turn your logo into a brush. So before I get to it, I'm going to show you guys how I actually retouch this image real quick. Alright, so this image here, I took it in my studio as you guys can see, you know, it's in a studio photo. So I quickly did a retouch of this image this morning and I'm just going to show you guys. So the first thing I did was to clean up the blemishes from the model's skin. Second thing was to do frequent separation using the mixer brush. I always use the mixer brush. I've noticed that here is lighter than her face. So what I did was to create a, uh, what do you call this, curve. And I just darken here a little bit. Also, it's still not much in the face. So what I did was to create a new layer and then I don't even know why I created a new layer, but I created a new layer and then I use the temperature in camera raw and I bring down the temperature a little bit so it's not yellow right here. And then I created a new layer again because I like to create a new layer. And then I did uh, some dodge so I can lighten up some section of the skin. Then I created a new layer and I did some patching um, right there. Then frequent separation again uh, using the mixer brush, but my wet was actually at 32% because what I was trying to do was to, you know, get rid of some of the dark spot from the model skin. I created a new layer again and then I did a color grading. So that's all I did to this image. <laughs> all right, so for the color grading, I'm going to give away the um, preset for this color grading. I think I still need to work on right here. One important information though that you guys should understand is that when you're creating a brush, the brush cannot be multicolored. So if you have a multicolored logo, this will not work for you. Your logo is either gonna be red, black, green, pink, yellow, whatever color you want it to be, but it cannot be multicolored unless you want to be creative and do something. But it will not be multicolored, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys how to create an action. So if you wish to bring your uh, logo over into Photoshop real quick if you're not using like light, Lightroom I'm gonna show you guys how to create an action to bring your logo into Photoshop so you can apply it to your image All right, so let's get right to it. I'm gonna bring my logo over To Photoshop good. So my logo is here. I use this pink one for my portrait page and I use the white one for my wedding page All right, so the first thing you want to do is to come down here to this um, off color thing here. I don't even know what that icon is. Then you want to select solid color. You want to ensure that your color is uh, white. Your background is white. We're going to bring it down to the back. Then I'm going to duplicate it. I'm just going to come down here and just duplicate it and then put it to the top. You want to change this to black. Good. And all you have to do now is to hold on an alt on your keyboard and then put your mouse cursor right between the color at the top and your logo and you're done all you have to do now is to come up to the top here and then you're gonna go to well you're gonna go to edit and then you're gonna come down here to where it says define uh, define brush preset good you can now name it whatever you want it to be I'm gonna say um, a and then okay so once you come over to an image you want to create a new layer and then you can just do that so whatever color is over here, I could go back to the pink, that's it. And if you want to resize it, control T and you can resize it, whatever size you want it to be. All right. All right. So one important thing that you guys should understand when you're creating a brush, you want to ensure that whatever canvas you're creating the brush on is a high resolution canvas because you don't want to be in a situation where you're uh, creating a, you create an image in a high resolution image and then you want to stretch your logo. And if you try to stretch your logo, it's gonna be pixelated because the original logo that you saved and you pull it back into Photoshop and you want to create a logo from, you want to create a brush from it, it's going to be a low quality logo because none of us save our logo at high quality. It's gonna be a low quality logo um, unless you actually save the Photoshop file when you created your logo. But if you bring your PNG logo over, it's going to be a low quality um, logo. So what I would suggest that you guys do is to go to uh, go to new and then you're going to create a new canvas. You could maybe say 3000 by 3000 
and then ensure that your uh what's this ensure that your resolution is at 300 all right i'm gonna do rgb good great so the logo that you have already created the brush that you have created from your logo you can just put it on this um template here you want to create a new layer first and then you're just going to put it right there ensure that it's black all right so this now is a high quality image let me see what the image size is again all right so it's 3000 by 3000 and my resolution is um 300 so you can stretch this um you can stretch this as large as you want and put it on a high resolution image because it's not going to be pixelated at all so what you could do now is to come back here to where it says edit and then go to define preset so now this is the brush size is 2397 so this is really a big brush and then i'm gonna call it sample i'm gonna leave it for that so i'm gonna do that good so once you come over here to this image you can let me just delete this and i can do that and as you can see it's a high resolution image as you can see it's, it's high if you notice i didn't really have to stretch it because the image that i was working on the canvas i was working on before is large so that's why it's large like this and let me show you something let me delete this create a new one if i go back to this one well all i need to do is come back here if you notice right here it says 610 i believe this is the pixels the 610 is a pixel so this is small and this is larger so this one is a higher resolution than this one so that's why you want to create a new layer each time when you're um well not each time you just want to create a new a, a, a new layer with a high resolution image the first time that you do it so i'm going to show you something i'm going to click on this one that is 610 and then i'm going to come over here and click right there you see how small it is and then let me create a new layer now and i'm going to select the one that says 2397 now see it's bigger so this one is a higher resolution than this one so when you're creating your uh, watermarks ensure that you're using a high resolution canvas and the canvas is basically this that is the canvas <laughs> if you're wondering all right so you want to know how to save this brush so you can send it to someone they could use it to put on your image let's let's say that you are a photographer who um have other photographers or retouch or retouch your image you can send them this brush and they can put the logo on their images if you wish um you want to come to you want to go to brush and then ensure that you select the brush that you want to save and then you come right here and then click on that you're going to see where it says export um Sorry, you're gonna see where it says export selected brushes then you just want to name it whatever you want your brush to be and then you just save it and maybe put it here all right good so that's it basically so now i'm going to show you guys how to create if you have a logo that is multicolored so this is what you want to do right i'm gonna bring up my action panel so what you want to do now is to create a action right you're going to come down here and you want to create you want to click on this plus sign right here and then you're going to say logo i'm going to press record so anything that you do right now is going to record it so all you have to do now is to go to file open and then um let me see if i can find one of my multicolored logo this one okay good so this is a multi-colored logo so once you pull it inside of photoshop it's recorded everything so we're going to stop it now and then i'm going to show you now i'm going to put this back over here and then i'm going to put back this as a button and then down here it says logo so i'm going to close uh, this 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 because i'm not using these all you have to do now is to click on logo and then it opens in photoshop right away so you just drag this over just like that and you put it wherever you want to put it on your image so that's it it's pretty easy i hope you guys understood everything you know i just spoke about in the video or showed in the video um yeah so subscribe to this channel um ensure that you don't skip the ads <laughs> when you're watching watch the entire ads that will help me and also 
subscribe or oh, i said that before subscribe to the channel share like everything so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video if you have any questions just ask me in the um, comment section there and i'll definitely answer you bye bye